is Wayne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add digital signage to your player. First, you go to biz.loop.tv and sign in with your email address and password. You'll be taken to the back office of your Loop TV device. Next, you will go to the left-hand menu where it says Signage Library. You will click on All Signs. The screen will come up and it will show you Add Your First Sign Item. This is how you'll start adding your signs to your back office in the digital signage. Click on that. This pop-up will have several menu options on top. The one that's highlighted right now is image. Click in the square box there in the center and you'll be taken to your desktop where you'll be able to find and load images. I have a demo uh, folder set up and in this case I have four images and I'll be adding those images. I'll start with this one here. You click on that and hit open. And your image will appear. You can schedule your images to run at various times during the day or different days of the week. But we'll get into that in another video. In this case right now, we just want to hit save. And your first image has been saved in the All Signs uh, Signage Library. To add another sign, over here on the right hand side it says Add Sign. I'll click that. I'll click in the middle here to go to my uh, back office here and we'll add another sign. Open. The sign will appear and you'll Now you have two signs in your signage library. Let's add a third and then a fourth. I'll choose this one. Open. It appears here in the box. I'll save it. We have three signs. Now I'll add the last one here for this example. And now I have, I have all four signs saved. Now after you load all the signs that you want to, you go back over here to where it says your loop TVs and you click on your device under here. Uh, in most cases, it's going to say First TV. Uh, here I've named mine uh, Emmitsburg Demo. Okay, you'll go back to your home page here. Next, you want to set up a signage set. That's where you'll be placing those signs that you just you down here. You'll see on the left hand side something called signage sets and the plus sign. You click on the plus and it'll ask you to name this signage set. Now you can have various, various signage sets, especially in a restaurant. You can have like a, a breakfast set where you only show certain uh, signage in, in the breakfast uh, during your breakfast hours. You can have a lunch or a happy hour. And then, um, so you'll have various signage sets and you can schedule them for various times of day. But in this demo, we're just going to have one signage set and I'm going to call it Blue Line, which is the name of the company that I'm uh, um, showing here. You put the name in, you click OK. 
And now you'll see on the left hand side, down here under signing sets, you have blue line. Here up to top, I have blue line. So I can start adding signs to this signage set. In order to do that, the top right hand corner, you hit attach sign. Now it will show all the signs that you have in your signage library. And you can start adding them one at a time. By doing so, you could build your um, signs that will be displayed on your loop player as you designate. To select a sign, you simply move your cursor to that particular sign and you'll see a check mark in the upper right hand corner. Put your cursor on that check mark and then click. And now that particular sign has been added to your signage set. Choose the next one and add that one. The next. And in this case, the fourth one. Go to the far right. Click on the X to get out of the signage uh, library. And now you'll see that in this signage set, you have four different signs. Now you can designate when you want these signs to be played. In this case, I'm going to do it after every third video, that's the default, and you can change that if you want to, to run every bit after every video is played, after every two, after all the way up to uh, after every uh, 30 videos. Um, but the default is three. That means when three videos are done playing, your next digital sign would come up. And in this case, we have four signs. So after the first three videos, one sign, the next three, the second sign, the next three, the third, the next four, three, the fourth, and then it will just continue to recycle. It will go back to the first, second, third, and fourth. Once you have all the videos, all the uh, uh, signs uh, placed into your signage set, you simply go back and click the loop TVs, and in your case, it'll probably say first TV. It'll take you back to the home page of your uh, of your loop device. Now, there's one more step to add this to your loop player, and that is up in the top right hand you'll see signage set. Right now it says no signage set. And once you click on that arrow, you'll see all the signage sets that you have set up underneath. In this case, we have one. It was named Blue Line. We're going to click on that. You'll see it appears here. There's the logo that we did in the other last video. And now go back to Loop TVs on the left hand side and just click on that. And there you have your signing set all, all set up for your Loop player. And it would take um, a couple minutes for this to start being displayed. In the case we have here, we designated that we wanted the sign to run after every three videos, and your ad will come up, your digital sign ad will come up on your loop player. The music will still play in the background, and that particular sign will display for anywhere from 15 up to 25 or 30 seconds. But as I said, the music will continue to play in the background. And that's all there is to it.
Um, you can call me if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to uh, help you uh, set up your digital signage. Thank you.